Welcome back to Only Talk Sports. We talk sports every single day, or at least we try to. I'm Roast Jeffrey. Subscribe to the channel if you like sports content. Hit that notification bell so you never miss another video. Now, we just passed 300 subs. Thank you guys from the bottom of my heart, and I hope I can continue to make great content you guys will enjoy in the future. Now today I'm going to go over my midseason All-American list for college basketball. There's a lot of other publications that have put theirs out as well, but I'm going to go over who I think should be first, second, and third, and honorable mention All-Americans for college basketball at this time. Now my first player that I have on the first team All-American list is Zach Eady. He has been a beast for Purdue this season. He's putting up 21.4 points per game, 13 rebounds per game, and 2.3 blocks. Purdue's also the top team in the Big Ten right now, and that really helps his case to be a first team All-American. And no one's really arguing right now he's 7-4 and he dunks everything that's in front of him and he's playing much better defense than he did last year and he is definitely carrying the loaf now that Travion Williams has graduated for Purdue. Number two I have Jalen Wilson he has 21.4 points per game as well 8.6 rebounds and 2.5 assists he has been fantastic for the Kansas Jayhawks this year he's been clutch hitting a lot of big shots for Kansas and even though they're on a three game losing streak Kansas is still one of the top teams in college basketball and he's one of the top bucket getters in the sport. Drew Timmy I have at number three and he's averaging 22 points per game 7.6 rebounds and 3.3 assists. He keeps coming back for Gonzaga every year, and every year he puts up more points than he did the previous year. And even though Gonzaga has been in the national spotlight for the wrong reasons lately for losing to Loyola Marymount and actually really struggling in West Coast Conference play, Drew Timmy is not the reason they've been struggling, and he is playing fantastic basketball. Number four, I have Trace Jackson Davis out of Indiana, and he's averaging 19.7 points per game, 10.8 rebounds per game, 3.4 assists per game, and 3.2 blocks per game. And some people probably would have him as a second team all-american but i have him as a first team all-american because even though for a stretch he was kind of injured and he wasn't putting up as many points per game the last six games trace jackson davis is averaging close to 25 points per game 12 boards he is on fire right now and the blocks help his case as well because of the fact that he is a fantastic defensive player he stops so many of the opposing team's layups by swatting them away and trace jackson davis is the most blocks in indiana history and he's gotten better every single year and he is definitely carrying an indiana team and has been playing better as of late. And the last player that I have as a first team All-American is freshman Brandon Miller out of Alabama. He is averaging 19.5 points per game, 8.2 rebounds per game, and 1.8 assists per game. And Brandon Miller, with him being a true freshman and playing the way he is, it's just fantastic. Alabama is one of the top teams in college basketball, and Brandon Miller is a big reason why. For a tall player, he can shoot. He does so many things well for Alabama, and he's definitely going to be a top draft pick. And if he keeps playing like this, he will definitely be a first team All-American at the end of the season. Now on to the second team All-Americans. I have Azulis DeBellis out of Arizona. He's averaging 19.8 points per game, 9.6 rebounds per game, and 2 assists per game. Azulis DeBellis has definitely improved for the Wildcats this year. He was a really solid player last year, but he's gotten a lot better, and he's on the cusp of being a first team All-American. He's so close. The consistency is a bit of a factor. He's not always playing at a high level, but he's gotten a lot better at that this year. And Arizona is one of the top teams in college basketball this season. So if Azulis DeBellis plays at a high level down the stretch, he could be a first-team All-American. Number two, I have Chris Murray, who's averaging 20.6 points per game, 8.8 .8 rebounds per game, and 1.8 assists per game. Chris Murray's being a bit overshadowed by the fact of what Keegan Murray did last year for Iowa, plus the fact that Iowa has struggled a bit this season. They don't have the best record in the Big Ten, and they're kind of out of the national spotlight. But that doesn't mean that Chris Murray is not playing fantastic basketball. He scores just as effortlessly as his brother, and he's definitely going to be a first-round draft pick in the NBA this year, and he is carrying Iowa as far as he can this season. And number three, I have Keontae Johnson, who's averaging 18.3 points per game, 7.5 rebounds per game, and 2.3 assists per game. I think Keontae Johnson is a fantastic story. Obviously, a couple years ago, he collapsed on the floor when he was playing for the Florida Gators, but now he's transferred to Kansas State. He's healthy, and he's put all that behind him, and he's playing fantastic basketball. It's a great story to see him back on the floor, and he's playing better now than he was when he was at Florida, and he has a really good shot to still be an NBA player, and if he keeps playing at a high level, he could take Kansas State far, and who knows, maybe he could even be a first-team All-American. And at number four, I have Mike Miles, who's averaging 19.1 points per game, three rebounds per game, and 3.2 assists per game. Mike Miles is a scoring machine for the TCU Horned Frogs. He is leading TCU 
LSU to heights they have never achieved before in college basketball. And he played really well down the stretch last season, and it's carried over to this season, and he's playing better than ever. And if Mike Miles keeps playing at a high level for TCU, they could really go far in the tournament. And at number five, I have Oscar Shibway to round out the second team All-Americans. He's averaging 16.6 points per game, 13.9 rebounds per game, and 1.2 assists per game. I think Oscar Shibway could start creeping up this list as the season goes on because Kentucky's starting to play better basketball, and he won the National Player of the Year last year, averaging 17.4 points per game and 15.2 rebounds per game. That's not far off for what he's averaging this year. It's really tough to repeat anyway. When people see what you've already done the year prior, you have to either meet or exceed what you did the season before to win National Player of the Year again. And for Oscar Shibway, he hasn't necessarily done that yet, and Kentucky as a team has not played very well. But they're starting to get it together, and Oscar Shibway has been playing better as of late. So again, if Oscar Shibway keeps playing at the level he's played the last five games for Kentucky down the stretch of the season, he could still end up being a first-team All-American. Now on to the third-team All-Americans. At number one, I have Suley boom out of Xavier. He is averaging 16.8 points per game, 4.2 rebounds per game, and 5 assists per game. He was such a big addition for Sean Miller when Suley Boone transferred from UTEP to Xavier, and he's been one of the best players in the Big East, and he's definitely a reason why Xavier's the top team in the Big East right now. If he keeps playing at a high level, then Xavier could win the Big East, and he can move up to a second or first team All-American as well. At number two, I have Armando Baycott, and he's averaging 17.9 points per game, 11.4 rebounds per game, and 1.8 assists per game. Armando Baycott's kind of in the same situation as Oscar Sheebway. He's being a bit overlooked right now because he's putting up great numbers, but they're a little bit less than what he put up last year. North Carolina has been struggling this season, but the Tar Heels are starting to play better basketball. Now, both Armando Baycott and Oscar Sheebway were banged up at the beginning of the season, but if Armando Baycott continues to string great performances together for North Carolina, then he can move up this list as well. At number three, I have Marquise Noel, who's averaging 17.1 points per game, 3.2 rebounds per game, and 8.3 assists per game for Kansas State. And Marquise Noel has been such an important piece for the Kansas State Wildcats this year. He's a 5'8 guard who's been with the program for a few seasons but this year's been his breakout year for first-year head coach Jerome Tang. And Marquise Noel is such a warrior on the floor. The fact that he averages 3.2 rebounds with his short stature of 5'8 is incredible. His assist numbers are high, and he definitely leads the Kansas State offense. At number four, I have Jalen Pickett out of Penn State, who's averaging 17.3 points per game, 8 rebounds per game, and 6.8 assists per game. Some people probably wouldn't have Jalen Pickett on their top three All-American teams, but he's been fantastic for Penn State this year. And even though Penn State's kind of a bubble team in the Big Ten right now, they wouldn't even be on the bubble if it wasn't for Jalen Pickett. He has been great for the Nittany Lions all year. He gets his teammates open. He gets a lot of assists. He rebounds the ball well for a guard, and he's been scoring a lot of points. He's been doing it all for Penn State this year, and he's going to have to continue to play at a high level if Penn State wants to make the tournament. And at number five on the third team All-American list, I have Hami Hawkes out of UCLA, who's averaging 16 points per game, 7.2 rebounds per game, and 2.6 assists per game. He averages the fewest points per game for anybody I have in my top three team All-American list, but Hami Hawkes, his value to the UCLA Bruins should not be understated. He does so many things for UCLA. He plays hard, he's very physical, and he finds ways to win for the Bruins. And even though their 14-game win streak just came to an end, Hami Hawkes has still been playing fantastic basketball. He finds ways to score, he rebounds at a high level, and he's just a really solid player overall for a really good basketball team this year. Now on to my honorable mention All-American team list. At number one, we have Kendrick Davis, who's averaging 21.3 points per game, 3.8 rebounds per game, and six assists per game. Kendrick Davis transferring from SMU to Memphis was huge for Penny Hardaway. He's playing great basketball for the Tigers this season, and Kendrick Davis is a prime example of a player that can move up this list if Memphis keeps winning games in the American Conference and makes a deep tournament run. Because right now he's being a bit overlooked due to the fact that Memphis is not really in the national spotlight, but I think Kendrick Davis this is a fantastic bucket getter. He scores a lot of points for the Tigers, and he could move up this list if Memphis keeps winning. At number two is Bryce Hopkins of Providence. He's averaging 16.5 points per game, 9.1 rebounds per game, and 2.4 assists per game. Bryce Hopkins was a huge get for Ed Cooley in Providence. He transferred from Kentucky in the offseason, and Bryce Hopkins has been playing really good basketball all season for the Friars, and he was a bench player at Kentucky, but he's burst onto the scene, and he's a big reason why Providence is toward the top of the Big East, and he's going 
going to have to continue to play at a high level if Providence wants to have a shot to win the Big East. At number three is Adama Sonogo of UConn. He's averaging 16.9 points per game, 7.2 rebounds per game, and 1.4 assists per game. He's a really solid player for UConn. They've really been struggling the last few games, losing six of their last eight games. But Adama Sonogo has not been the problem. He's been playing really solid basketball for Dan Hurley, and he's been overlooked for the last couple seasons in college basketball due to the fact that there's so many fantastic big men in college basketball. But he is a really solid player, and he has a chance to move up into the first three-team All-American list if UConn can start winning in some basketball games again and he keeps playing at a high level. At number four I have Terquavian Smith who's averaging 18.6 points per game, 3.4 rebounds per game, and 4.6 assists per game. Terquavian Smith has been fantastic for NC State this season. He's a player that could have went pro last year. He was a first round draft pick but he decided to come back for Kevin Keats in the Wolfpack and that has definitely helped out NC State this season. A team that really has a good shot to make the NCAA tournament if Terquavian Smith keeps playing at a high level. He did suffer a scary fall against North Carolina and he suffered for some neck injuries but thankfully for him he's back out on the floor and I'm glad he was able to escape that nasty fall without severe injuries because Traquavian Smith is a really good player and if he keeps playing at a high level he can really take the Wolfpack far this year and the last player I have on the honorable mentions all-american list is Marcus Sasser out of Houston who's averaging 16.6 points per game 2.8 rebounds per game and 3.2 assists per game Marcus Sasser is the leading guard for Kelvin Sampson in Houston who's one of the top teams in college basketball this year Marcus Sasser came back to college basketball this year after he was injured last year and he's putting up great numbers he's been a great floor general for the Houston Cougars this season and he's a big reason why Houston's a top 10 team right now but there's just so many other great college basketball players that he's in the honorable mentions list right now but if Houston keeps winning big games and he can keep putting up big performances who knows he can move up into the top three team all-american list as well now that rounds out my All-American list in college basketball for midseason. Obviously, there's a lot of other publications that have a lot of these players in different spots, but this is my list for first, second, and third, and fourth team All-Americans. Again, to recap, I have Zach Eady, Jalen Wilson, Drew Timmy, Trace Jackson Davis, and Brandon Miller as the first team All-Americans. Second team All-Americans, I have Azulis Tabellis, Chris Murray, Keontae Johnson, Mike Miles, and Oscar Shibwe. Third team All-Americans, I have Suley Boom, Armando Baycott, Marquise Noel, Jalen Pickett, and Hami Haquez. And honorable mention All-Americans, I have Kendrick Davis, Bryce Hopkins, Adama Sonogo, Terquavian Smith, and Marcus Sasser. And a lot of these players can move up or down this list as the season goes along. And maybe even some newcomers will arise and move up into these lists. And there's so many other players in college basketball that you could put on this list. But if they keep playing well, then they can move up into this list down the stretch of the season. But subscribe to the channel if you like sports content. Like this video down below. Comment down below who you think should be on the first, second, and third and honorable mention All-American team list. And what you think about my midseason All-American team list in college basketball. And I will see you next time.